my channel today I have an exciting haul it's a Poundland Christmas haul um, I recently went to my local um, town center and picked up loads of things from two different Poundlands um, so I'm going to show you what I got it's all super Christmassy and I really hope you enjoy it I am looking at my floor and it looks like an explosion in a Christmas factory so I'm very excited to show you all of my goodies <laughs> okay so without further ado, let's get into the video. So first up, I'm gonna show you all the wonderful tinsel that I got. So each one was just 99p or a pound. I think most of them were from the pound shop. So these were all like a pound. I've decided that this year, um, this is the first, oh, I had not even tell you. So this is the first year that I have decorated my flat for Christmas. This is gonna be the first year. And I'm not gonna lie, blogging and YouTube have played a part in my decision to decorate my house this year. But I thought that, like, I have my own space. This is my living room. I've got a bedroom, I've got a kitchen. I've got lots of space. Why, do, why not decorate and create a cool video in the meantime? Um, I'm, also, I'm also thinking about doing a video about like maybe a vlog about my decorating my tree and my flat and things so look out for that um yeah so i picked up some silver and gold and a few white pieces i'm thinking of a kind of classy metallic kind of vibe this year I'm gonna see how that goes maybe i'll change it up next year picked up two of these um they were a pound each and these are kind of just more thin thin strands of tinsel um, which, which I thought I could decorate like around mirrors and around things um, and then the big ones will go in the tree. This is my I think my favourite purchase of this whole haul. Um, these <laughs> it's just two for a pound can you believe and they're just really really pretty gold with mirrors inside to make them glimmer. Dear I'm obsessed with these, I absolutely love them. I think they do not look like they're worth a pound. They look like they could have been bought in John Lewis or M&S or something for five pounds each. Um, yeah, just really gorgeous. Um, and then, this little guy. <laughs> I, do, I need to figure out a name for him, I think. Maybe a Rudolph, classic. <laughs> but I thought this would be really cute um, on like, as an ornament piece maybe on my, cupboard up there or on a shelf or by my TV. Possibilities are endless. These from the 99p shop. <laughs> These disco balls, throwback um, disco balls. Do you remember those? <laughs> I used to have one in my bedroom actually um, in my mum's house. Um, but I thought these were super cute, very disco, very party, very retro, and they're in my theme. White, gold, and silver. And I thought these would look really nice together on the tree within the theme. And then like the white, I don't know, I think it's gonna look good, hopefully. We'll see. This pack of the mini baubles. So these are just lots of gold. And then you've got them in glitter and in shiny metallic as well. And I got six of these silver ones. Um, this one's kind of like a ribbed, a ribbed effect, and then this one is a silvery glitter with the ribbed effect also. Got some plain ones. Do you know what I figured out with all these baubles is that you have to string them yourself. So I'm gonna be spend. Oh, that's so funny. I can see my reflection in all of them. <laughs> so I'm gonna spend so long stringing these together. Um, maybe I'll start that today actually. That could be a nice little afternoon task. I've also got this 12 pack as well. So we've got some matte gold, some glitter gold, and then some metallic y mirrored gold, which I thought was really cute. An 8 meter beaded garland in gold. 
and I've actually already got some of this in silver at home so that would be cool to decorate on the tree um, or also just around the flat. I was thinking of um, maybe like you know like old glass jars or glass ornaments that you can put things in maybe stringing some beads in there so I was thinking I've bought a lot of baubles I potentially will have some left over so I thought a good idea would be to maybe fill a jar with the baubles that are left over or I've got like a big glass globe um, that I could fill as well with some fairy lights I thought that'd be pretty. Some Christmas cards. I buy Christmas cards all the time um, especially in the new year when they're all reduced that's a really good time to get your Christmas cards for the following year just a little tip but I found these in the Poundland and I didn't think they looked like Poundland I thought they looked pretty paper chess paper chess paper chase-esque um so it's kind of like a recycled card kind of effect with the metallic gold and then there's also this design as well and you get 15 in a pack and I thought they looked really cool so why not you can never have too many and then I also picked up this star of course I need something to put on the top um, and I picked up this glittery gold star um, and I thought it was like a cute little first a first tree um ornament for the top and it's kind of like a snowflake I thought it was pretty cute. And then, this is one of my favorite purchases. So you know when you go to Poundland and they have now that cheeky section where it's like two pounds and five pounds for things? Um, <laughs> normally I would avoid it because I feel like completely conned by Poundland putting me in the two pound, five pound section. But I managed to cave this time in order to buy this two pounds wreath. Wreath, sorry, wreath. Oh, I've never known how to say that until recently. I learned how to say this word really recently. I keep saying reef, like the Great Barrier Reef. It's not a reef, it's a reef. Um, <laughs> that's my bad. Um, so yeah, it's just kind of like a, a green decorative reef with the pine cones and the berries and the fake snow. And I just thought that'd be really pretty either on my comp my main front door, which currently has another wreath actually, like an all, all, all year round wreath, or I can, um, so I can replace it with this one, or I could put it maybe on the inside of my, my inner door. So I have two front doors. Um, I have a main front door and then an inner front door. I'm so extra. Um, but yeah, so I thought I might put it um, on the inner door um, just so I don't have to take down the other one. But I might do, don't know, see how I feel. Come into the last couple of pieces now. So I've got some 30 mini candy canes. Um, when I write Christmas cards, I like to include a little candy cane, just st stuck to the envelope or just tucked inside of the card as a little extra thing. Um, and also I work at a job with quite a lot of people, so maybe I'll bring some into um, work and share those out. I thought it was just a really simple, cute idea that's not, not very expensive, but could um, be a really lovely little gift. Before we get to the last item, this technically is not a Poundland item, disclaimer. Didn't get it from Poundland, however it was a pound, and it might still be a pound, so I went to Tesco's, or Tesco, sorry, people don't like it when you add an S to the end of Tesco's. Um, so yeah, I went to Tesco and I found that these were on offer for a pound, so I thought I would include them. So in Poundland you can get these advent calendars, but I don't know if you've had them, <laughs> I think. I remember having one one year from Poundland when I was at uni or something, and I'm pretty sure um, it gave me an upset stomach. <laughs> um, but yeah, so I found this one and it's a Cadbury, so I thought I'd have to pick it up before they all go up in price. Last but not least, we have the biggest item of my haul and the most expensive. This wasn't a pound, but it was from Poundland um, in the um, cheeky two pound, five pound section. And it's this six foot <laughs> long Christmas tree. And this was just 10 pounds, which I thought was a really good bargain because I've, previously looked in like Argos at their basic value range of trees and things like that and um, they're usually between 12 to 15 to 20 pounds for like a six foot um, you can get like four foot or five foot ones for quite cheap but this is a six foot one and I'm five foot seven so this is gonna be taller than me hopefully I mean it does say approximately <laughs> Here. So I'm hoping they don't con me and I open it and it's not four foot but um, yeah I thought that this would be my nice first tree so yeah it looked like your bog standard green Christmas tree and I'm actually going to open it up now because I've been saving it for this video and I want to see how big it becomes so and it might be interesting for you as well in case you're thinking about going and grabbing one of these so let me do that now. So it comes in three sections and then it comes with these four um, leg things that I believe slot into 
this section here. Once you've got that all kind of set up, you fan these branches out and that will create a little hole in the middle for you to stick in these bits. So let me put that properly together and then I can show you a proper view of it. And here she is. So I basically just undid all of the branches so I could show you guys what it looked like in the end. Um, like, um, so I think this is where my tree is going to live um, for Christmas. I'm going to have to clear this area a bit, but I think this is going to be the corner um, so that when when I have fairy lights all around it, the reflection of the window will make the whole corner look really Christmassy and beautiful. Um, but yeah, so I think for 10 pounds, this tree is absolutely amazing. Like, I just think it's just so great. If you're, if you're on a budget and, um, or you're looking for like a secondary tree for another part of your house or you're a student and you wanna decorate your student halls, 10 pounds for a tree that's gonna last you quite a few years um, and doesn't look bad at all. Stay tuned to my channel, make sure you subscribe because I am going to be definitely doing some decorating vlogs um, showing you how I decorate my tree and what it looks like in the end. So definitely subscribe so you get a notification about that video. But yeah, I'm so happy. <laughs> Just so cute, it's so cute. I love it. Um, and yeah, so the top would come to about here. Um, but <laughs> I think it looks a bit weird being so long. So I've just doubled it over um, so that it's also a bit stronger for when I put the um, star on as well. But I think it's gonna look really great, guys. I'm really pleased with that. 10 pounds. So thank you for watching. I think I'm gonna end the video there. I really hope you enjoyed having a look through all the little Christmassy bits I got recently from Poundland and seeing me put together my new Christmas tree, which is standing proud in the corner of my house. Um, I can't wait to decorate it. So like I said, please like, subscribe and comment below and make sure that you've got my notifications switched on or make sure you're subscribed first of all, just so that you get my notification for my Christmassy decoration vlogs, which I think are gonna be really fun this is the first time I've ever decorated my apartment as I said at the beginning and so I'm really excited and it's gonna be a bit of a journey discovering where it looks things look good in my apartment and um, what I'm gonna be doing with all this tinsel honestly where am I gonna pour this tinsel it's gonna be fun um, so yes yeah, so make sure you're subscribed make sure you're subscribed for that um, yes um, thank you for watching again and I will see you in my next video have a lovely evening day morning wherever you are and whatever you're doing and I'll see See you next time. Goodbye!